In today's video, we're starting with a graph. This single graph explains what happens to everyone in retirement. This line represents your ability to do things as you age. The next line represents your steady state of desired activities. Now at some age, your desired activities are going to surpass your abilities. This can create regrets. The good news is that you have a window of opportunity. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the four bad words that you need to eliminate from your vocabulary in order to have more opportunities and less regrets in retirement. We're John and Beth, and we are the Retirement Travelers. If you're new to our channel and you're wondering why I'm sitting on this hotel bed, well, Bev and I have just arrived in Thailand. We are traveling the world full time after selling all of our stuff and we're currently in Asia. So be sure to check out some of our other Asia blogs and videos as we've traveled from New Zealand up to Taiwan, through Vietnam, Cambodia, and now Thailand. So be sure to check them out and uh, give us a subscribe on our channel. The first word that you have to eliminate in retirement is debt. Debt in America is killing retirements and it is completely out of control. I read recently that consumer debt has now reached over $16 trillion and it's all sorts of debt. It's, it's credit cards, it's mortgages, it's car loans, it's student loans. You know, in fact, almost half of all people entering retirement have debt. So uh, if there's one thing that you can do, you know, to improve your ability to retire sooner, it is get out of debt and, and you got to make some hard decisions. It might involve downsizing or selling some of your stuff. Uh, we recently did a video called A Life Without Stuff, and we literally sold all of our stuff, our, our house, our cars, uh, so that we could travel the world full time. But that ability to be debt free has enabled us to live a life that we wanted to in retirement. Now, let's go to the graph for a second. Remember the graph? Well, what, this is what debt does uh, to this retirement graph. It actually pushes out your ability to retire and you are stealing the best years of your retirement where you have the highest ability to go do the things you love. You're not going to be able to do that if you have high debt and can't retire. The number two bad word is time. Now, when you're younger, you think I have time to do all the things in life that I want to do. I have time to get in shape. I have time to save for retirement. I have time to, you know, to travel the world. What happens though, when you reach retirement age, you realize, you know what? You really don't have all that time. You know, if, if you retire at age 65, you don't have that many great years left where you can go conquer the world and, and climb Mount Everest or do whatever great feats that you want to do because your body starts slowing down on you. So, you know, I'm almost 60 now. And I, I think back when I was 40 or 50, I could do some things back then that I can't do now. You know, and as Bev and I are traveling the world now, we realize that when we're 70 and, and 80, we're not going to be able to do the things that we can do now. So I think a key thing in retirement, you want to try to extend that time out. So what can you do to take care of your body, to, to keep yourself in as good a shape, uh, to take care of your health, to eat right and do all the things that, so that you can extend that uh, time in retirement and the ability to do uh, all the things you love. So let's take a look at the graph now. So how does this discussion impact that? Well, as you raise your ability to do things, what's that, what that's doing is increasing your opportunities and decreasing you know, your regrets in life. So that's exactly what you want to do. So we're doing everything we can uh, to stay in shape and extend out our good years and you know we encourage you to do the same the third bad word in retirement is fear you know fear keeps us from living our best lives in retirement now the words do not be afraid actually show up in the bible 365 times you know there, there's a reason do not be afraid if we can reduce the fears in our life there's no doubt we can live a better retirement life. You know, it robs you of many things. I, I'm, af I'm afraid to fly. I'm afraid to travel. You know, you may be afraid to downsize and get rid of your stuff. There's, there's the fear of the unknown. There's all these things that you're fear of, you know, that you're fearful of that are limiting your abilities uh, in retirement to live your best life. Now, we recently were in New Zealand, and one of the bucket list items I wanted to do was bungee jump. 
And believe me, I had fear. You know, standing out on that ledge, uh, I was very, very fearful. And I saw a sign that said, live more and fear less. And I wanted, I wanted to live more in retirement. So I stepped out on that ledge and I jumped and I do not regret it at all. It was, it was a wonderful experience. So uh, what I'm telling you is do whatever you can, you know, get, get help if you need to, but try to address the fears in your life, uh, whatever they may be, and uh, increase your ability to have a fantastic retirement. So again, let's take a look at the graph and, and, and see what happens with fears. You know, fears, what that does is lowers your ability to do the things in life that you want to do in retirement. You know, just like your health is more of a physical thing, fears become a mental thing and it lowers that bar, which reduces your opportunities and, and actually increases the regrets in your life. The fourth bad word is sulk. And what I mean by sulk, it's, it's really having that victim mentality that things are out of your control and, and you sulk about it. You know, I, it's not my fault that I couldn't save enough and it's not my fault that I couldn't stay in shape and you know it's not my fault that I couldn't retire earlier and it's not my fault you know et cetera et cetera you know we we blame outside circumstances uh, on what's going on in our life or you know we focus on negative things you know my my politician didn't win or my sports team didn't win or things didn't go the way I wanted you know, those are all things that uh, cause us to sulk and not focus on, you know, what we have control over. And so sulking to me really uh, limits us in, in retirement because uh, we, we focus on the wrong things. So really what we're saying is focus on what's within your control. You know, have a contagious positive attitude about accomplishing the things that you want to do and living your best retirement life. How do you go after all the different opportunities that you want? How, how do you live a life with no regrets? And, and the other thing I would say is, is how do you surround yourself you know, with other people that think like that, that build you up, that encourage you, uh, that support you in your endeavors? So, you know, when you go back to the graph now, the, the, the first three examples of words, you're actually moving, moving lines, changing shapes of the opportunity. In this case, it's all around focus. So, you know, if you can get rid of sulking in your life, it will allow you to focus on the opportunities, okay? And surrounding yourself with more people that do that will truly enable you to meet all the opportunities in your life, reduce the regrets, and live your best retirement life. So now the summary, you know, the, the four words, number one is debt. Do anything you can to get out of debt as soon as you can and hopefully retire sooner. Number two is time, okay? Have a sense of urgency about, you know, living your best life in retirement and keep your body in, in the best shape possible so that you can extend the number of good years that you have in retirement. Number three is try to get rid of fear. Remember, live more and fear less. Get help if you need to, but try to address the fears in your life so that you can raise the ability to, to do all the things that you want to do in retirement. Lastly, get rid of sulking. It, it's the victim mentality. You know, try to have a contagious positive attitude and surround yourself with other people that have that so that you can live your best retirement life. Be sure to hit subscribe and follow along on our retirement journey around the world.